Hello YouTubes and welcome to yet another devlog, a devlog of my game Fireworks Mania. Fireworks Mania is a small casual explosive simulator game where you can play around with fireworks, create beautiful fireworks shows or maybe just blow stuff up. Let's get started. Before starting the real devlog, let me ask you a question. Last week I created this dark looking fuse timing tool, but this week I realized that the timing tool might not be so relevant anymore, as I would like to have a fuse connecting tool instead. So my question to you is, this tool that should be connecting fuses, what should it look like? Let me know your suggestions in the comments. Thank you, and let's get started with the real devlog. So continuing to work from last week, I keep working on getting all the models into one single Blender file. I'm doing that to be able to reuse texture across the different models and making it easier than not having to set up Blender every time I need uh, to do a new model. Because prior to this, I was having one Blender file for each model, but now I'm combining it into one, which will hopefully make it easier. And also I can compare size to each other and stuff like that. So I hope I will benefit from this down the road. After that it was time to take this Shogun Crackling from last week and put it into the game so you can actually spawn it from the inventory. Last time it was physically placed or manually placed in the game by me and the editor and you couldn't spawn it by yourself as a player. But uh, I wanted that to be a part of the inventory so I added that too. So with that added to the inventory, it was time to move on to something different. You might recall that I previously created this torch ignition igniter tool that I added to the game. And it worked in a way where it, uh, when you click the button and turned on the torch, it moved the torch forward from the player and then you had to hit the fuse with that torch flame thingy. However, that was kind of hard to work with because it was hard in the game to see depth so you couldn't really see how far that fuse were from the torch or the other way around. So it kind of t took a different approach. First of all, I changed the torch so that it actually moves towards the fireworks that you are looking at. And also, I started working on some different fuse mechanics. I turned the logic around it's a technical thing, um, but now you actually ignite the, to uh, the fuse that then in turn set off the fireworks, code-wise at least. For you as a player, you might not care at all. But anyway, I changed it up and this is also kind of some preparation for what I will do later on in this devlog um, that I also talked about in the beginning of this devlog which is this fuse connecting tool. This is kind of the prerequisite for that. So refactoring the fuses and changing the torch tool so it's now easier to hit and ignite stuff as it's finding its way on its own. Due to Easter, I had a few days off work this week, so I had a little more time to work on the game. I spent that time actually working on the game, but also had two live streams here on YouTube. So thank you to all of you that participated in the live streams. It's always fun to have this immediate feedback when you're doing something, so that's very nice and I hope to do it more. But as you also know, with family, kids, dog, yada yada yada, I get distracted and disturbed all the time. So live stream isn't really working that well for me in general. So. But I'm doing what I can. At least, again, thank you for participating, it was very nice and hope you join next time. After the last stream, my dog needed a little walk and that was it for that day. The next day I continue working on the fuse logic and using this little model on all the different pieces of fireworks so they all have this little green fuse now. In the future I will do f more fuse models, uh, different colors, different uh, shapes and stuff like that. But for now I only have this one green straight one that I reused. Due to some of the latest stuff I have done, there are some of the issues in my backlog of uh, tasks to do in the project and list of ideas that is no longer relevant. So it was also uh, time to go through the issue list on GitHub and remove some of these old issues that 
no longer makes sense due to the way the game is now changing, you could say. Here are some footage of how the fuse now looks and also works together with the new torch tool. You will see that the torch goes straight to the fuse itself, just if you look at the fireworks, the torch, uh, just if you are close enough of course, goes straight to the fuse. So it's very easy for you to hit the, the fuse, easy to ignite the fireworks, but still have this kind of sense that you actually ignite the fuse and not just clicking on the fireworks to make it go off. So let's enjoy a little clip of that. And now we get to this new fuse connecting or connector tool that I'm currently working on and I mentioned in the beginning. Because previously you could set the fuse time and this way kind of schedule your different fireworks. But I think it would be more fun to be able to connect them with uh, fuses. So here's the first draft where you cannot actually see the fuses in game. You can only see it on to the left in the debug mode. But what will happen is that it will connect the fuse from one piece of fireworks to the next one by clicking on it. How it will work in the end I don't know because I'm not done with this tool but this shows off the, the idea behind it. You can see here I ignite the one in the middle and then it goes out from there igniting the ones to the both of them connected to that piece of fireworks which again connects or uh, ignites the one connected to that. So it's kind of a chain reaction that like that. Like it would happen in real life. How this tool will precisely end up working I don't know yet because as I said this is not done. I'm currently working on this, trying to improve it. But this combined with some kind of save load mechanism could make it pretty easy and pretty fun to do small pieces of fireworks shows. This is more or less what I achieved this week so this is the end of this devlog. I will continue working on this connection tool because I think it uh, will have a, a big impact on the game in the future, uh, even though it might seem a little boring right now. I think this could make it uh, fun in the long run, so I want to invest a little more time in that uh, tool. So I continue on that and before ending off this devlog, let's take some footage or let's end this video with uh, some footage of how the current implementation of this fuse connecting tool looks and works. Remember if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, tickle the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I go live as I do from time to time and when I upload a new video. That's all for now. See you in the next video.